Hi, I'm Dr. Tal Cohen from Portland, Oregon. My training is in uh, functional medicine and regenerative medicine. Um, I'm currently the program director in a new way clinic. Uh, so I supervise the other providers, physicians, um, doing the procedures, um, and I also do training. Um, and also uh, I teach in seminars and I uh, are in charge of the quality control and, and the process in the NUA clinic. Many patients and sometimes doctors ask about the differences between stem cells. And so um, first to differentiate between stem cells that are coming from um, either umbilical or amniotic source um, in comparison to the adipose pool, it's, it's a huge difference because when you're pulling stem cells from yourself, and what, what happens is basically your, these stem cells are as old as you are. And those stem cells, as we've seen from studies, are not as effective as stem cells that are brand new from amniotic or umbilical cord source. Another factor that, if, that doctors and patients must, must take under consideration if they really want to get the results they want um, is that when you pull it from your bones, uh, studies show that you can find anywhere between 160 uh, stem cells per one, unit, one mil of bone marrow, all the way up to 600 um, stem cells. And remember, the older the patient is, the less, probably the less amount of stem cells you will find. And since in the United States, we can't culture cells, um, and so you basically find very small amounts of stem cells. In comparison to uh, if you go with the uh, amniotic umbilical, you can get thousands and sometimes even millions of cells um, that are that um, will have a, a really nice amount of viable stem cells.